Hi, I'm Doug Smith, and I have another experiment for you. This one's uh, actually quite simple. It's composed of a, of a small AM radio, a piece of Teflon, and uh, this is on my website, www.dsmith.org. It's two pieces of copper tape on, on Lexan plastic covered with packing tape, clear packing tape, and they come to a very close point but don't quite touch, maybe half a millimeter. And if I turn on the radio, and rub this on my shirt, this Teflon, if this is negatively charged, and I believe it is, when I bring it close to the metal, you'll hear sparks jumping in the radio. Hear them? Electron's trying to get away from it, so I'll jump the gap to do it. And I can actually chase them back and forth across the uh, gap, and it creates quite a bit of noise. So, the experiment now, we have the oscilloscope probe hooked to the uh, circuit board and the ground lead is shorted to the uh, to the circuit board and the probe tip as you can see and when we do ESD events with that little uh, copper foil sparker the board will act like an antenna and that will gen it'll pick up the ESD radiation that'll generate current in the ground lead that generates voltage across the ground lead and all the probe knows is there's a voltage between the probe tip and where the ground lead fastens. And so now let's go over and look at the scope and watch what happens. Okay, now I'll we'll make some ESD noise. We're at one volt per division and five nanoseconds. And you see it's going off the screen, even though we're ab about a foot away, more than four volts on the screen of the scope. This is why oscilloscope probes, uh, especially uh, ones like this with a fairly good sized ground lead, are not terribly useful around ESD because they pick up the ESD, in this case even though the probe is shorted. And by the way, shorting the probe like this is a great test. I call it a null experiment where we hope to get zero and to the extent that we're not, uh, that's the error in the experiment. In this case we just got four volts, uh, so trying to measure logic signals the with a oscilloscope probe like this around EST obviously is not going to work. You can see demonstrations like this one in Doug's public classes at Oxford University, his private seminars at client companies, and at other venues. Doug's website is www.dsmith.org that is www.dsmith.org